Hello again. Wanted to make a video update on my wheel. Basically have um, the two baby stroller wheels together now again. Um, the magnets are too thick for better torque and um, they have been for quite a while. But um, have them kind of staggered. I have uh, six coils. Nice well wound coils with um, the nice thick run wire on each and uh, some are like this one's tri filer this one's a quad filer uh, this one's a quad and this one's a quad but basically um, that's only because the wire I had was already wound into bi filers and it's a real bitch to get them apart so I doubled them up and actually it turned out perfect because you want to have um, the right ohm ohmage on the uh, run coil. Um, but anyways, with that in together, my run coils ended up around 8 ohms, uh, like Bedini suggests, and this is uh, this is good for torque. And the um, the trigger wires, I know I could put um, transistors on all of them, and you know, like Bedini does. But uh, I basically have them parallel, and uh, I think I could uh, wire them in series on the same coil, and uh, maybe get a higher spike going into the battery. I don't know. <laughs> I just like to experiment. But anyways, uh, I think as I've said in my past video that I'm going to uh, I'm trying to get torque here. Something I'd like to point out: I haven't uh, watched Bedini videos in quite a while. And I, the last few days, I had a real good dose, you know. And uh, a lot of people, it seems, build these things and the kit that he sells and all that. But um, they tune these coils to their sweet spot, which is, you know, the spot where the run coil, the run wire is using the less, the least amount of amp drop. But it's been my experience, and i um, seen a couple others, but most people presume that they turn these circuits up, and the amp draw goes up, and they presume that the wheel becomes less efficient, but I don't really think that's the case. The more amps you pump through that run wire, the more you're going to recover through the trigger wires. I think that's how it's going. But um, definitely when you turn up the, uh, or turn down the resistance on your variable resistor, the wheel go faster generally and um, and you'll use more you'll pull more amps off your run battery but at the same time when you do that more charge goes into your charge battery so basically it's the same I would imagine percentage of give and take uh, ratio there pretty close to unity but you know not bad really really good really 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 good efficient motor <laughs> don't uh, I don't want to misspeak because if you have two banks of batteries running off one charging the other and then you have a switch system where you could switch it say even every every other day and then make the one the one that was the run the charge and to switch back and forth it run for a very long time but um, now I, I mentioned before that I'm gonna um, modify that alternator down there at the end. Um, I'm not doing that anymore. I can make a way better generator. I don't know what I was thinking. But um, generators can be made way better than those things. I really don't know what I was thinking. But anyways, I have really good torque right now with six. I can put six more on this wheel, bottom wheel, and then I can put 12 more on the top wheel. So when I'm done, I'm going to have 24 of these coils on this wheel. It has pretty good torque already, man. But uh, but I'm going to add 18 more. I don't care. I know this is going to work. Um, simply because you're taking from one battery bank. And I'm going to get a lot more deep, deep cycle batteries after I build my new wheel. And I'm going to have a nice three three batteries on one side or four and three batteries or four on the other and um, and switch between them run charge run charge run charge and uh, what I pull off my generator with my torque 
is uh, is going to be cool to see. Uh, there's a video out there. I'll leave the link in the info box. I'm sure everyone who's watching this video has seen it, but I'm going to leave it again anyways. Uh, Australian guy basically made a motor which he kickstarts himself with a wrench and it's a pulse motor and it's basically doing this concept and I get a lot of negative feedback from people saying this is not going to work and this is why and whatever um, I'm not listening <laughs> uh, I see it now but um, 18 more coils and uh, she'll be freaking humming it already burns my hand to put, put friction on it when it's running like within a second it burns my hand but I'll give her a spin my uh, my run batteries it's two deep cycle 12 volts that are hurting right now they're at 22.3 and right here I have my uh, amp draw we can look at and I'm gonna give her a spin and my head my wheels heavy heavy so we flipped her on you can hear it pumping those coils pumping on the magnets but basically that's going to settle right there that's going to settle at about 2.7 2.7 2.73 somewhere around there divide that by six coils. Uh, I don't have my calculator out here, but um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. But like I said, I really don't care. That's uh, two, let's say three amps, just because. Three amps at, let's even say 25 volts. Three amps at 25 volts is 75 watts. And I don't care because I'm getting it back on the charge. I don't care how much I use here. Turn it up, use more amps, you're going to get more in your charge side of the Bedini circuit. That's the way it works. There's a sweet spot on these coils though where, uh, where it's going to use the least amount of amps. I'm aware of that. But um, I'm not doing that here this wheel and it's still I put friction on it and the amp drive doesn't go up in fact it goes down out but um, it's gonna be great it's gonna be great I'm gonna leave a link to one of my old videos from last year and that's a video showing what I'm talking about basically I have my coils Fadini coils tuned to their sweet spots and I have the output coming from it. The Bedini, all, the, all the outputs from the circuits going into a cap and then I have that going into a drill and um, you'll see what happens when I turn the circuits up. But I'll leave that link as well. Maybe I'll leave a couple other political links. But uh, I wanted to keep you updated. I'm out of transistors. I like the 2N3055s. I've tried others, bigger ones, um, whatever. I like these ones. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go buy uh, six more, and I'm going to be scrounging for wire big time. But uh, this is what's going on. More torque, more torque. It's actually kind of uh, unnerving. The camera doesn't do it justice for how heavy it is and how quickly it gets up to top speed. Anyways, until next time.